It is the policy of the Iranian government to attack and kill Americans wherever and whenever they possibly can. This is playing out in Iraq through the preferred method used by the Iranian government, which is through proxies. And so we see them using Shiite, Sunni militias, terror militias inside of Iraq to do uh, the attacks specifically. But they are trained by the IRGC and the Quds Force. They are trained by Hezbollah, another terror proxy of Iran. Towards the end of the 1980s war between Iran and Iraq, Iran's military leadership knew that it was losing the war, and it went to Ayatollah Khomeini and said, we're not winning this thing. Khomeini said, get me a bomb. Khomeini ordered his commanders of the IRGC to get an atomic weapon, is what he called it at that time. And from that point forward, the IRGC has been in control of the development of Iran's nuclear weapons program. As a member of the Non-Proliferation Treaty, as a signatory to the Non-Proliferation Treaty, Iran comes under the authority of the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency. And as such, they are obligated to disclose all of their nuclear development sites. The fact that they have not done so and did not do so for the entire length of, of their nuclear weapons program is testament to the duplicity with which Iran has uh, dealt with the international community. This is a regime which repeatedly has threatened the State of Israel, its United Nations fellow member, with genocide, with wiping Israel off the face of the map. This is a regime whose constitution commits it to the export of revolution and jihad throughout the world. This is a regime which has supported terrorism and terrorist organizations like Hamas and Hezbollah since the beginning of the regime, 30 some years ago now. This is a regime which has coordinated with terrorist organizations, Hezbollah, with Al-Qaeda, to mount attacks not just against the United States, but other members of the United Nations, of other countries across the world. This is a regime which oppresses, savagely oppresses its own people inside its own borders. So a regime like this to get a deliverable nuclear weapon is a serious danger um, it is an existential danger to Israel. It is a national security danger for the United States of America. To allow Iran to become a nuclear weapons power without stopping it will be to the detriment of American national security as well as Israel's.